guys, so today I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup tutorial for you all. And I'm also going to be including a hairstyle that I featured in my back to school school supplies video and everyone wanted to see it. So I'm also going to show you how to do that hairstyle. So let's just get into it. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply my concealer. I'm just going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay one. And this is a waterproof concealer and I'm just going to rub it on my middle finger and then I'm just going to tap it onto my eye and then blend it out. And I'm just going to take this also into the inner corner of my eye where my eyes tend to get the most dark. I'm also going to take this and apply it on some of my acne scarring just to conceal that and make it less visible. the school day and you can just take it a little bit around the outside of your nose where most people including myself tend to get a little bit red so the next step is your foundation now you can use any type of foundation that you feel makes you feel the most confident about your skin and about yourself I'm going to be using a mineral powder and this is by Arbonne it's the natural radiance mineral powder and I'm in this shade medium beige so it's just a loose powder and I'm just going to tap some into the lid and then blend it over my face with a kabuki brush like this one eyebrows so lately I've been using this eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown this is in the color saddles number 61 and I just use this with the Bobbi Brown um, eyebrow brush which is just a really coarse angled brush so I just dip my run my brush through that product and then I just apply it to my eyebrows my eyebrows are quite thin so I just like to thicken them up and make them match my hair color a little bit better. So as you can see, this eyebrow looks a whole lot better than this one. So I'm just going to carry on and fill in my other eyebrow. And I just run the remainder of what's in my brush through the front portion of my eyebrows. Just to thicken up that area as well. So that is my eyebrows finished. To move on to bronzer, I use the Hula Bronzer. I've literally had this for five years, so it's like destroyed. I need a new one. I just take that on an angled brush. This one's by MAC. It's the 168S or something. I just put that and I just work this to kind of bronze and contour up my face just in this area to give a little bit more definition. Again, you don't need to do this as it's for school, but I've just gotten into the habit of doing this and I really think it makes a big difference on your face. Like so. The next thing that I like to do is apply a blush because I find blush really wakes up your face and makes you look a little bit healthier, especially as I especially can look very dead in the morning. So I'm just going to use one of my favorite blushes, which are this Estee Lauder ones, and I'm just going to use the color... Uh, peach passion which is just a peach color with some shimmer and I'm just going to smile and apply this on the apples of my cheeks so that is my face makeup finished and now I'm just going to move on to my eye makeup so I'm just going to start off by priming it as you want whatever you put on your eyes just to last throughout the entire school day so I'm just going to rub a bit of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion onto the lids of both of my eyes. And then I'm just going to carry on to do a very, very simple eyeshadow look using my Naked palette, as I find that a lot of people own this palette and it's literally the most handy palette ever. I used it all throughout high school. And I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to run it through Sin, which is a like champagne-y, pinky color. And I'm just going to run this all over my eyelids. And now what I'm going to do is take the MAC 217 
brush and I'm going to put this into buck and I'm just going to use buck to define my crease on both of my eyes. So you just want to focus this color on the outer corner and then also bring it in towards the crease and this just gives a little bit more definition in your eyes. And then I'm just going to use this tiny little mini brush just to run a little bit of virgin into my inner corners just to brighten those up a bit and make my eyes look more awake. So the next step is to add an eyeliner on your upper lash line just to define it a little bit more. So I'm going to be using this which is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner and this is in the color Sable which is a brown color as I always find that brown is a lot more natural for the school days. Now I'm just going to finish off the eyes by applying mascara. First thing is I'm going to curl my eyelashes just to lift and open up my eyes a little bit more. I'm just going to apply mascara. You can apply any mascara that you want. At the moment, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Too Faced Better Than Frick Fracking <laughs> Too Faced Better Than Doing the Deed mascara. And this mascara is amazing. If you have not already tried it, try it. Just don't tell your mother the name. is the finished eye makeup and then all I'm gonna do is apply this lip gloss to finish off the look and this is by Revlon it's in the number 240 fatal apple so it's just a reddish pinkish lip gloss I think it really wakes up your face and just makes you look like you're just ready to take on the day. So now I'm just going to move on to the hair. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the hairstyle, which is a side Dutch braid kind of thing. So all you're going to do is you need to part all your hair onto, well, just make a big side part as I'm doing right now. So I like to part my hair on this side. So yeah, I'm just going to part your hair. And then because I have a lot of layers for this side of my face, I just like to twist back the hair and then just secure it with some body pin so that it stays like that. And all I'm going to do is take the top section right here. So I'm just going to grab a top front section and I'm going to divide it into three pieces. So a Dutch braid is a lot like a French braid except instead of crossing the pieces over one another, you're going to be crossing them under one another, which just makes the braid lay on top of your head instead of underneath it. So all I did was just cross a couple pieces back and forth under each other, and then you're going to grab a piece from the front, connecting it to the other piece, and you're going to tuck this one under like so. Now you have this loose piece, so you're going to grab another piece of hair from up top, like so, and now you're going to tuck this one under this one, like this, let go of this piece, grab more hair, it's basically exactly like a French braid, except instead of braiding it over, you're just going to braid it under, so I'm just going to carry on doing this. Just 
tie that off with a little clear elastic band. You can get these anywhere and they're like perfect for these kind of hairstyles as the band remains somewhat invisible. So now that that's done, we kind of want to loosen it up a bit as this is a little bit fancy. So all you're gonna do is just grab pieces of braid and loosen them up to make it a bit bigger and a looser kind of structure to it. And you can leave it like this or you can just grab out some baby hairs from your hair just to make it look a little bit more unravel unraveled like so and that is the finished hair style which is like a dutch side braid so i hope you guys liked this thumbs up the video if you did and send me a picture on Twitter if you wear your hair and makeup like this to school because that will just make me feel really special. That's all. Bye!